Oh, fuck. Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to a new video. I'm, I'm a bit sick, so sorry if I sound like that. Um, I've been working on a couple of things that I'm not gonna tell you, but um, for this video, I'll show you one of the things that I've been working on, which is the actual use of the objects in your inventory. So, um, now uh, you had the um, you were, you were able to go ahead and pick up an object like this. So you you picked up a coconut. You can pick up like money. You can pick up scrolls. You can pick up everything, but you cannot use the objects. Now, if you remember, we made the this uh, health and um, uh, this health and uh, water or hydration um, bar. And when it depletes, when it gets to zero, you die. So. In order for you not to die, when you click on the coconut, so you see if you click over here, it doesn't work. But when you click on the coconut from your inventory, you get some uh, back. Same goes for a bottle. I've created a bottle over here. You can pick it up. It appears. You click on it, and you're full. So that's pretty neat. Um, it's pretty simple to do. Uh, I'll just let me just open up the script. Sorry, I haven't done this before. Um, but it's pretty simple. Um, basically we've done everything before, but now I'm just like adding things, making it, making it work better, etc. It's not that hard really. Just focus on the video because it has a couple of new things. So here's the script that I made. Uh, this is the inventory script that we had before. Um, they're all, uh, I've added these two lines to the inventory script, which is cruiser visible dot false and cruiser visible dot true. You can, I'll, uh, I'll rewrite this, I'll put it on the GitHub so you can download it, but basically this just allows you to see your mouse cruiser so you can click on things in your inventory. So, this is how the script goes. We have a using Unity standard assets on characters not third person because we're using the third person standard assets. We have a public bool which is the stats, so when this is ticked, um, it'll know that it's it um, has something to do with the statistics of a player, the health, and the hunger. Uh, the thirst and the hunger, so it adds on to that. Public bool item. This is the um, this is if it's not uh, if it doesn't add hunger or uh, thirst, but it uh, adds an item or does something. This is not yet done, as you can see. Use I haven't done this yet. I'll um, implement this when you like actually equip weapons and and stuff. This is the public integer, the health value and the hunger value, the thirst value and the hunger value. This is how much thirst and hunger points it adds back. This is game object inventory because we need a reference to the inventory and a game object player because we need a reference to the player. So here we find that inventory is game object .find with tag game controller. You have to if you follow the tutorial you already if you follow the tutorials before you already have all of this. If you haven't, well, uh, this is basically the thing that we have our inventory, our currency script on this event system. You click game object, UI, and create the event system. You have to create it like this. It, <clears throat> sorry, it must not be an empty game object because it has these event system script and standalone input module, which is for UI and other things. So just create the event system, tag a game controller, create the tag if you do not have it at add tag, and that's it. Um, we also have a we find a game object with which is tagged player, so make sure your third person character is tagged player. Um, after that, we have a public void which is the use item void, and it checks if it's the stats or if it's the item. If the stats is true, it go it searches the player's component, the third person character. It adds the hunger and um, thirst. So and then it destroys the game object. Now, what we add the script to is our uh, icons. So, if you haven't noticed, um, let me just go to game. Uh, I've I've talked about this in the previous videos. Once I've originally made the pickup item and the inventory uh, script um, and the inventory video. But basically, how this how our inventory works is we have a canvas. We have this inventory tab, uh, which is actually a grid layout group, which is actually a grid. And every new item that gets added is a child of the inventory tab of the grid. So as you can see, it appears over here, but not the object itself, but a prefab appears. As you can see, coconut icon clone. So when I go to my prefabs, or sorry, when I go to my textures, you can see that I have the bottle icon, the coconut icon, scroll icon, sword icon. This, this, these are all of the items that I currently have. 
And basically all of them have the same things on them. They are actually a button. They have a on click command which uh, does this. So the it basically um, we have an on click function. So you add the sword icon and you click on the use inventory script and use item uh, void or function because it has the use inventory script on it. Now, as you can see, the bottle icon, um, when you click on it, uh, let me show you for the coconut. So when you click tab and the coconut appears, it's over here. Uh, the coconut, it has, uh, it has stats ticked and the stats it adds, it adds a bit of thirst and hunger because coconuts, I think they, I don't know, I think they replenish your hunger when you eat them and uh, thirst. Whatever, you can change this around, it doesn't matter. So basically, the thing that gets destroyed is this icon. So um, it's not the object itself. It, it, that gets destroyed when you pick it up. So that's basically <clears throat> that's basically it. Now I'll show you. I've done this before. I've uh, shown you guys how you can um, actually uh, create these uh, icons. So I I'll make a new one. I've got this military knife texture. Uh, from the let me just find it. I think it's over here. Why is nothing showing? One second. Um, I'll just add this real quick. So um, I got the uh, knife texture off the internet. Doesn't matter where you get it. Just drag it over here. And I'll delete this one. And um, see, for some reason, it doesn't show up, which is pretty weird. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna open up the internet. We're gonna search up knife icon go to images it does you can get one that's uh, pretty good pretty neat i'll just get a random one doesn't matter um i guess i'll get this one but it has this background which i do not want uh search something all right this is okay so i'll drag it onto my desktop save it and then i'll put this into my textures folder after that we have the knife over here let me just find it so here it is so as you can see it's kind of weird so uh, to fix it because this is going to be used for UI we gotta change the texture shape to a 2d sprite and UI and then click apply so now as you can see it changed and how you actually add or actually create the um, icon the object I basically pair up the icons with different objects. So now I'll, I'm going to search up knife, and I have this knife object over here. Um, and this is how you set it up. So be careful. Watch this part very good. So watch this part closely. So this is the knife. This is the object that we pick up, and this is the thing that gets instantiated. Well, the icon I have to create it again, but this is the object and the icon. We're going to create it later, or actually, we're, we're going to create the icon first. So uh, how you do it is. Go to game object, click UI, and create a button. Now let's go to 2D view, and this is the button. So now if you already have a couple of icons created before as the coconut icon and everything that I've created in previous videos, you can uh, just duplicate them and change the texture, change the values, but if you don't, I'm just going to do it from the start. I'll go ahead and delete the text, and I'll drag the button to the inventory tab um, to make it a child of the inventory tab. Now, as you can see, it's over here. I'm just gonna um, I'm just gonna disable the travel UI real quick. So this is the button. We want to change the sort the target graphic to the knife or the UI the source image to the knife. As you can see, it changed. You can find a better image. Doesn't matter. And uh, in the button script on click you're going to want to click plus and then add a new component which is the use inventory script now because it's an object it doesn't have any values you can't eat a knife uh, just uh, click item and we're gonna make item functionality in another video but right now we only have the food functionality if you're making a food item just click the stats change the, the values but I'm just gonna leave it at item and then um, click over oh, click get the button and get the button that you created. I'm just going to call it knife icon and just drag it over here to the uh, on click object and for the function change it to the use inventory script and change it to the use item void so that's it that works 
that's basically it let me just check it out so as you can see it's basically the same with each icon they just represent the things that you have in your game after that uh, drag it out of the inventory tab but make it so it's still in the canvas and then just drag it make it a prefab in your uh, text in your whatever folder just make it a prefab and then you can delete it after that we have to make the actual object that we pick up so let's find the knife that we have in our scene here it is I'm going to create a um, uh, I'm gonna add a mesh collider to it and I'll change the mesh to be the knife or actually um, let me just let's see yeah it already has this so I just added the mesh collider and it automatically found the mesh that it needs to create the collider upon <coughs> sorry about that so it has the collider now we have to add a second collider which is going to be the trigger that actually detects if we're in range so we're, if we're, we're able to pick up objects so I'm just gonna create a sphere collider it's pretty good range but I'll make it a bit more so change the radius to I'll change for example 35 it's okay you can add a rigid body and make it like um, able to fall down and everything I did that with the coconut so make sure if um, you're gonna add the rigid body and if it has a mesh collider make sure that you tag this is convex because if you put a rigid body on an object that has a mesh collider it's just gonna fall down um, it's it's not gonna collide with anything if you do not have convex um, tag trick um, ticked now we're just gonna make the sphere collider a trigger and that's basically it and add the pick up script to it that we made in previous videos so now I'm just gonna make it an item and for the item icon I'm gonna put the knife icon that we've created a prefab of in the thing so now it should work if we made everything correctly so let's go in the, at the knife click E it disappeared let's click tab you can see the knife over here now nothing happens when we click on it because we cannot use we cannot eat the knife and I have not created functionality for the actual knife so if we for example um, if we for example made the knife some kind of food um, and click for example thirst like 20 hunger 20 now if we I'm just showing you this so you know it works when you pick it up, uh, when you click on the knife, as you can see, it restored your hunger and uh, thirst. So that's basically it. Um, this has been some pretty cool functionality. It adds um, more playability to your game. Soon we're going to make it so when you pick up these, for example, scrolls, they're going to be needed for quests. You're going to be asked to go get a scroll. And then when you get the scroll, you come back. You, If you have the scroll, you complete the quest, get money, etc. Basically, now we have a pretty solid game. Um, I'm thinking it's it's going to be a, a more parts. It's not going to end soon. So don't worry about that. And uh, yeah, so thank you for watching the video. If you guys want to support me, you have the PayPal link in the description. You can donate. Leave me a note. Uh, if you donated so I can add you on Skype or something if you donate you also get the complete package with all of the models and everything that's in the game and everything that's gonna come uh, later so yeah um, I'll see you next time and bye